Hello, this is Mark Brand from Alpha Controls. For those of you new to Alpha, welcome. We are one of Canada's leading suppliers of sensing, measuring, and controlling instrumentation for a variety of different industries, including pharmaceutical, HVAC, healthcare, just to name a few. Today, we're going to talk about flow measurements, specifically mass flow versus volumetric, and some of the different technologies in measuring these flows and what to look for when choosing. Let's start with the difference between mass flow and volumetric. Volumetric flow is the volume of gas that passes in a period of time. This is measured in liters per minute or CFM. But one thing to always remember is any changes in temperature and pressure will affect the readings. A good example of this is if you've ever blown up a balloon inside your house and then you've taken it outside in the colder weather, that balloon shrinks or the volume shrinks based on the temperature. That's basically volumetric flow. Mass flow is a volumetric reading calculated with temperature and pressure compensation. This is an advantage with many applications that require constant flow readings, regardless of the temperature or pressure fluctuations. Mass flow is commonly measured in SLPM or SCCM, the S standing for standard, referring to the reference conditions used for pressure and temperature. There's a few different ways to measure flow, but in this video, we'll be looking at thermal-based versus differential pressure-based technologies, both of which are proven methods of measurement. Here at Alpha, we've been selling and servicing AliCat equipment for many years. They carry a variety of different monitors and controllers that'll suit any of your needs, utilizing the differential pressure technology. Now, when using the differential pressure technology, here's some things that you're gonna to need to consider. So thermal-based flow is determined by measuring the rise in temperature as the flow goes through the meter or the amount of heater power required to keep the gas at a constant temperature as it does flow through. Differential pressure-based flow measurements measure the pressure drop across the laminar flow element as gas flows through the unit. Some of the advantages of using a differential pressure technology is that there's no warm-up time like there is with a thermal mass flow meter. This will allow you to get your readings instantaneously. These meters can also be used with a wide range of gases as long as they are pre-programmed into the meter like they are with the Alleycats, and ease of installation. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on our very upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Brands Brands.